A total artificial heart replaces the right and left ventricles. For patients who have right ventricular failure or biventricular failure, they've had really poor options. The only thing they could get is a heart transplant. And when they can't make it to the heart transplant, they're so sick, they would do poorly and die. With a total artificial heart, we have an option. Right now, it's approved for bridge to transplant. It's not supposed to be an end stage therapy or destination therapy. The big issue with cardiac transplantation is timing. It can't happen until patients are in good shape. We've seen patients who had to be taken off the transplant list because they were so sick. Also, there are some patients who have so many antibodies to other people's blood that they have to wait a long time for a heart. Now, with the total artificial heart, those patients can wait and get stronger, and they can wait until they get the right heart. It's a pneumatically driven device. You have two ventricles, and each chamber within it, which we call a ventricle, has a diaphragm that goes up and down. The diaphragm is, is moved by air that's coming through a driver that's outside of the patient. The tubes that go into the patient is a, two airlines, basically, that allow the pressure to be transmitted into the diaphragm. And when the pressure goes in, it pushes the blood out of the ventricle. And when it goes out, it helps draw the blood into the ventricle. We make an incision right down the midline, then we divide the sternum. And then what we do is we go ahead and put the lines and tubes in, we put them on the heart-lung bypass machine, and then we go ahead and isolate the heart. Once we stop the heart, we go ahead and cut the ventricles out, leaving the atrium of the heart in place. When you cut the, the heart out, you have to preserve some portions of the heart to sew the device onto. Once we sew that on, we test to make sure that there's no leakage of blood, and then we go ahead and, and take the device after we've put out the two air lines outside of the body, and we basically click them on. Once that's all done, they don't have a heartbeat anymore. There's no electrical activity. This really is a new era in cardiology and cardiothoracic surgery. It used to be the transplant era, but now that's been eclipsed. Now it's the mechanical circulatory support era. And what's exciting is how much can be gained. Right now, we have patients on support since we started our program for three years running, and they've never been rehospitalized. We never thought that could be possible when we started our program. We don't want to rest there, though. We want to innovate at Stanford. There's so much that I think that we can improve.